Hi, folks. Andrew here. Top fitness strategies. Got to dig that fancy music I got at the beginning, huh? Anyway, today's episode, we're going to talk about no gym. That's right. No gym. If you don't have a gym, what are you going to do? Oh, my gosh. The, 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 the world's coming to an end. You can't work out anymore. So we'll see what happens here. But we're going to talk about that and uh, go from there in just a second. But before we get started, as usual, today's sponsor is the Booty Call. That's right. I have a booty call just for you. What the booty call is basically in in a nutshell, this is actually, uh, it's called the booty call butts and guts. The booty call, let me start that over. The booty call 2.0 butts and guts. And and what this is, I have a good friend of mine, uh, uh, Sherilyn, a virtual personal trainer. I do believe we are the first ones to coin that phrase a long time ago. And what we did, we got on a phone call together. This was back in the day before all the fancy dancy stuff to record everything. And uh, I interviewed her and we talked about the booty, the, 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 the female back session uh, section specifically for the females. Well, we decided to up that game uh, a couple of years later. And with the recording equipment a little bit better, We actually did a second call. We called it the booty call 2.0 butts and guts where she talked about the booty. I talked about the midsection and vice versa for the guys and the girls. So it's all for you right there. We call it the booty call. It's all for you. Topfitnessstrategies.com slash guts. Just look at the, uh, 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 the link in the, in the description. Okay. So we get that out of the way. So back to the main event. Here we go. No gym, no problem. And for those joining us for the first time, thanks for being here. You know what to do. My name is Andrew. I am the face who runs the place here at Stop Fitness Strategies. And we are all about the fitness over 50 crowd. Basically, you want to feel better, look better, gain some confidence. That's what we're all about. So this topic came up about the no gym because I heard somebody talking the other day that uh, she couldn't go to the gym. The gym happened to be closed. Oh, my word. And she doesn't know why, but the gym is closed and she thinks it's going to be closed permanently, but she didn't know. That's beside the point. Then she said she couldn't go running because the weather was bad outside. So she hasn't worked out for two weeks. Whoa, stop right there. Just because the gym is closed and you can't run outside does not mean you can't work out. Yeah, I understand not everybody has workout equipment in their house. I get it. So what? There are so many things you can do in the comfort of your own home. Yeah, maybe it's not the stuff that you're used to doing at a gym. I get that. But you can still engage your muscles somehow. It doesn't matter how. I mean, for instance, I just gave you a a couple of ideas here. How about doing some push-ups? How about doing some sit-ups? Yeah, I don't care if you put your legs underneath the couch and do sit-ups. Some of my my, my professional colleagues might, might tell you not to do that. But hey, it's moving your body, which is what we're all about. All right, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups. If you can do some pull-ups, great, fantastic. And here's one. How about getting a jump rope? They're very inexpensive. Less than 10 bucks, you got a piece of equipment that is extremely beneficial, more so than you'll ever think of. Yeah, a lot of us used to jump rope when we were kids back in grade school, you know, all that good stuff. But a jump rope is fantastic. So just because there is no gym, just because you don't think you can get your, your, your usual workout in, for whatever reason, the gym being closed, um, uh, you're in a different location, um, wh- what have you. There's all kinds of different reasons that can be there. But just because one thing is closed doesn't mean you, you can't do something else. Just because one door is closed, another one will open. You, you, you've heard that before, right? Exactly. So there's always something you can do. You can always be moving forward. I love the ones that people the people tell me, well, you know, I'm staying at a hotel for a week for business and, and the hotel lobby just doesn't have a gym, blah, 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 blah. But then they tell me they're on the third or fourth floor of the hotel. You know what? How about walking up and down the stairs about four or five times? That's something. Is it the perfect workout? Who knows? Chances are, if you're used to going to a gym, it's not your perfect workout, but it can be something. Again, bring a jump rope with you. You know those stretchy bands that people use at the gym? If you travel a lot, Put those in your suitcase. They take up very little space, and believe me, they are beneficial. You can find all kinds of workouts online. Heck, I even have a couple you can look at on on, on, on topfitnessstrategies.com. That's right. Uh, uh, another plug, get the uh, the book, the Inside Out Top to Bottom Fitness Program. You'll be shocked what you can get, get accomplished just with 
uh, reading that book. It also it actually outlines a, a workout program, an at home workout program for you. So don't ever tell me just because the gym is closed that you can't work out. That is just an excuse. And you know how I am with excuses. Believe me, I, <laughs> I've had more excuses than most people out there. Uh, and not just in fitness and in, in everything in life. I, 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 I'm almost to the point of saying if you uh, are human, sometime in your life you'll have an excuse or you've had, had an excuse to do something. Is it right, wrong, good, bad, indifferent? Only you can decide. But please don't use an excuse. Don't use the excuse that your gym is closed, you can't work out. Because there's always a workout out there to do somewhere. Okay? All right. I will stop it here. I will go on and uh, do all that good stuff. And uh, thanks again for being here. This is your first time. Look out the description in the box. Look at uh, whatever platform you're watching and or listening to this on. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Hey, do me a favor. Share this on your social media platform as well. Okay? So I'm going to stop it here. Thanks a lot for being here. My name is Andrew, the face who runs the place. Until next time, ciao.